So remember, before we begin, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let's go to the video. All right, go ahead and step into the, your workspace. Right now, I have a folder called Ansible, and I already have my host file created. So go ahead and set up your host file, pause the video, set up the host file, and we'll go ahead and begin. I already have an HR group for my first host. I have a finance group, and I have an IT group right here, in which each one has a single instance. So let's go ahead clear up my terminal space and the first thing we want to do is go ahead and create a new playbook and we're going to call this the loop file dot yaml and we want to do our three dashes and then come up with a name for this playbook and I'm just going to call it testing testing loops and we want to execute this so that it hits all of our hosts. So we're going to say host all. We're not going to pick a particular inventory group on this run. Then we want to become yes, because we want to be able to become the root user. And we want the instance to know that. So we're going to say become underscore user. That of root, because I haven't created a whole bunch of other admin accounts. And then we can do Ansible Python interpreter, and you don't, might have not, you might not have to do this. So just try to run it without it first. If you do, you might have to come back and specify which interpreter you would like to be ran against your Ansible in host. All right. And for me, it's going to be user bin. Python 3.6. And then we're going to go ahead and set up our task. And we're only going to need one task for this one. And we're going to say, we're going to call it install web cockpit. And you say, let's try NTP. And then we're going to use the Young Package Manager. And we're going to create the name. Now, if you're using Ubuntu, this would become apt. Uh, if you're using a newer version of CentOS or Red Hat, it will be DNF. I'm just going to go ahead and do Yum because most people are familiar with that. All right, and then we're going to come here, and this is where we're going to create the variable item that will substitute the items. We'll substitute item for the names in our in our loop, and we'll get there. And we want to make sure that if we don't already have the item installed, that we install it. All right, so then we're going to say loop. I'm going to give it a dash, and then we're going to do HTTP, HTTPD, ooh, HTTPD space dash cockpit, and we're going to do NTP, okay, and we're going to go ahead and save that, maybe that'll be control S. And we just want to run through this one more time. So you want to make sure you have your name, your host, you want to run it again. You want to become, yes. And actually, I don't think I need to become user root. I think my account might have the administration, administrative rights. But if not, don't comment that out. If, if you don't have a create, created user on the instance that has root. And you want to say variables if you have any problems executing on your in host. Our task name install web cockpit NTP yum name state. And then we have our loop items. And you can 
make this pretty much as long as you want to make it. All right. So let's go ahead and go to the command line. We're going to bring that up for you. And you want to say Ansible dash playbook dash I specify that inventory file we're going to use the name of our file, which is loop file dot YAML. Then we want to say dash dash U for whatever your username is then dash K for to be prompted for the password and enter. All right, we're going to, so password is actually required. Another password for sudo. So we're going to add one more in there. Dash, dash, ask, dash, become. Pass, I think it is. There we go. And this is the become password here because it's preference with sudo. And the other one was just SSH to get onto the box, and then the pseudo passwords right here. And there we go. We have all green units. And the only one failed that, was, that failed was NTP. And let's see why. And I have to say, let's bring a browser up and figure out. Why? Let's see. Yeah, so NTP. So it looks like NTP should have worked. So I'm going to put that to the side. No match for NTP. Hmm. I have to go into here. So I'm going to SSH directly to one of the hosts and see what's going on. So let's go ahead and replace that. I'm going to replace it with Crony. If you don't, if you run that same issue as me, you can replace it with Crony because that's what we see as an NTP client. Might not necessarily be the best one right now, but we can go ahead and go with that. Let's go with that. So I want to go ahead and exit. I'm going to replace that with. C H R and Y. Control save. Now that we have another install package. And let's add something else just for the sake of seeing how this thing works with multiple files. Let's pick out another one. We're going to say NTP stat. Now we have. And control save. And we're just going to clear this out. I'm going to bring this up so you can see the complete terminal window. And run it again. Good, good, good. 
All right, an NTP stat is yellow. So as you can see, the first two items is okay. Uh, Chronic, then we install uh, the first three items rather. HTTPD are okay. Cockpit is okay. Chronic is okay. And then the item that changed was NTP stat. Thanks for tuning in to another video at for uh, Case Tech. Thanks for tuning in to another video for Case Technologies. Remember to like, comment, subscribe so that we can bring additional videos to you. If you have any questions about anything, always remember to make a comment uh, and hit me directly, and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. Thank you.